Hello everyone, now let's talk about Netcat. So Netcat is also called as TCP IP Swiss Army Knife and Netcat is used for transferring the data by using TCP IP protocol. So we can read and write data by using TCP IP protocol in Netcat. So by using Netcat, we can make a connection with any server, website or any networking device. So Netcat has also has ability in order to connect on a particular port, which means by using Netcat, we can even connect on a particular port on a remote server. And the main feature of Netcat is that we can also listen on a particular port and we can listen for a remote connection. And if user wants to connect with us on a specified port, then we can in order to use listener in Netcat. Now let's see how we can use Netcat in Kali Linux. Now let's see how we can use Netcat in order to fetch some HTML data by using HTTP 1.0 and HTTP 1.1 request. So in order to start Netcat, we have to start our Kali Linux. And here you can see that right now I'm inside my Kali Linux instance and this is the Kali terminal. So in order to start Netcat, we first have to write NC for the Netcat followed by the website name or the server IP address with whom you want to connect followed by the port number. So I'm connecting with this website by using port 80 and if I hit enter, so here we have to specify the HTTP method, then HTTP version and then we have to write the host name. Hit enter and here you can see that it has fetched all the HTML content or data of its index.html page by using HTTP 1.0 request. And if we read this, you can see here 200 OK. And here is the PHP version number. And if I scroll down, you can see the entire HTML data. Now let's make some another request by using HTTP 1.0 version and we will see the difference between HTTP 1.0 and HTTP 1.1 because uh, I told you earlier that if you request a one resource by using HTTP 1.0 version so our server can handle only one request but if we use HTTP 1.1 then our server can respond to the multiple request of resources in a single connection. Now let's connect with google.com through port 80 and now this time we will use HTTP 1.1. So just specify here version 1.1 and we also have to write host name here again and if I hit enter here you can see our HTTP header along with some HTML content and here you can see that we are still connected and we can also specify some another request. So this was the difference between HTTP 1.0 and HTTP 1.1 that we can request only one resource in one connection in HTTP 1.0 but in HTTP 1.1 we can request multiple resources. So this was the short introduction of Netcat that how we can use Netcat and thanks for watching this video.